Hi, welcome to the best of cat series by IMS. Let's have a look at one more question from arithmetic. Now, this is a very peculiar kind of question, you know, where they talk about number of boys and girls in class, how many have passed, how many have failed and so on. Let's look at a couple of approaches for this question and see how we would have done it. So, in a class, 60% of the students are girls and the rest are boys. So, if I just have to put the data down, girls are 60%, boys are automatically 40%. There are 30 more girls than boys. So, number of girls and more than boys are 30. The difference is 30. We'll come to that. 68% of the students, including 30 boys, pass an examination. So, totally 68% of the students passed, in which the number of boys who passed were 30. Find the percentage of girls who did not pass, which means failed. So, let's see what different things I would do in this question. First thing, I can make out that the difference is 20%. So, they are saying the difference in number is 30 students. So, can I say 20% is same as 30 students? Right? So, I can easily get 100% or I can get the number of boys and girls separately. No need to calculate anything. 20% is 30. So, 40% will become 60. So, the number of boys will become 60. And 60% will become 90. So, the number of girls become 90. So, these are total number of boys and girls. Since at the end, we want to know how many students failed the examination, right? We don't want to know how many students passed. So, pay attention to that, how many girls did not pass, right? So, if 68% of the students passed, so can I say 32% failed? So, 32% of 150, 32% of 150 have failed the examination, which include 30 boys had passed, but the total number of boys are 60, so I can say 30 boys had failed also. So, what is 32% of 150? Just a small thing to tell you all over here. How can you do a calculation like this faster? 32% of 150 is same as 150% of 32. Understand that. A% percent of B is same as B% percent of A. So, 32% of 150 will be same as 150% of 32. How much is 150% of the number? The number and half of itself, which will become 32 plus half of 32, which is 16, making it 48. So, you can do this calculation orally, 48. So, 48 students have not passed the examination, out of which 30 boys had passed, which means 30 boys had not passed also. So, the number of girls who did not pass is 18, 48 minus 30. 18 out of the total of 90 girls have not passed, converting that to a percentage. 18 upon 90 is 1 by 5, which will become 20 percent. A very, very straightforward approach, nothing really difficult. But just for example, if somebody wants to feel or understand, can we use allegation somewhere? Yes, you can use allegation maybe after this step. So, you still need to calculate the number of students first. So, you need to know there were totally 150 students or out of which there were 90 girls and 60 boys because mainly you need to know the boys. Why? Because we want to, because they told us that 30 boys passed. So, how many boys did not pass? So, in terms of percentage, how many boys did not pass? 50% did not pass, right? 30 out of 60. So, can I say 50% of the boys did not pass? Let's say X percent of the girls did not pass. And the average percentage for the whole class is 32%. So, if I was using allegations, I know X had to be less than 32. This will come 18, 50 minus 32. And this will be 32 minus X. What was the ratio among the boys and girls? The ratio among the boys, were, boys and girls was 2 is to 3. So, this was 2 parts and this is 3 parts. So, if 3 parts is 18, how much is 2 parts? 3 parts is 18. So, 2 parts will be 12. So, I will get 32 minus x is 12 and I can directly get x is 20 percent. So, for the ones who really want to use allegation, not that the allegation was really helping too much because the calculations were very easy. But still, if you want to understand that you could have used allegation, the second approach is also there.